there! You found us here at Storytime with Miss Becky. I'm Miss Becky, and this is our friend Bear, who loves to read along with you. Bear has a question for you. Have you ever felt that your friends may have forgotten about you? Maybe one time? <laughs> well, Skunk can't find her friends, and she's afraid they've forgotten her or maybe just hate the way she smells. Let's put on the magic reading glasses and see if Skunk will find out what's going on with her friends. Skunk's Spring Surprise by Leslie Newman. Illustrated by Valerie Gorbachev. The very day that winter ends, Skunk wakes from dreaming of her friends. She blinks her eyes and shakes her head, then jumps right up and makes her bed. Hooray! My winter nap is done. It's time for me to have some fun. Skunk yawns and stretches, twists and bends, then scurries off to find her friends. Good morning, turtle, calls out Skunk. Where are you, mole? Hello, chipmunk. Skunk listens hard and smells the air, but does not find them anywhere. Where are my friends? Where can they be? Have all of them forgotten me? Perhaps they hate the way I smell. Skunk stamps her feet and starts to yell. But no one hears Skunk rant and rave, not even Bear inside his cave. Skunk is thirsty, sad, and hot. A drink, she says, would hit the spot. She sighs and gives herself a shake, then slowly trudges to the lake. Skunk's friends are waiting on the sand to welcome Skunk as they had planned. Bunny hops about. Oh dear, I thought by now Skunk would be here. She always wakes and takes a drink, Fox sniffs, and says, That's her, I think. Hush, says Turtle with a wink. Don't scare her or she'll make a stink. Squeals Mole, how do you do? We've got a big surprise for you. For months, we've planned a talent show. Ready or not, Skunk, here we go. Fox shows Skunk, Frog's favorite joke. Frog laughs so hard, he starts to croak. <laughs> Turtle strikes a skunk-like pose, then dances lightly on his toes. Chipmunk tosses nuts and sticks and teaches skunk some juggling tricks. Mole dances like an acrobat, while Crow flips Bunny from a hat. S 
snake and ladybug hum a note, then sing a song for skunk they wrote. Ant swings beetle by the knees, then lands in front of skunk with ease. The end, say beetle, ant, and crow. We hope that you enjoyed the show. That's not the end. Skunk starts to rise. I also have a spring surprise. Skunk leaps up to take the stage. She reads the words upon her page. When I wake from my winter's sleep, I love to hear the robin's peep. I love to smell the sweet spring breeze. I love to see the budding trees. When I wake from my winter's rest, I'll tell you what I love the best. To see my friends down by the lake makes me so glad to be awake. Skunk's friends all clap and make a fuss. We love the poem you wrote for us. And we love you, her friends all sing. They hug and kiss her. Happy spring! Bear's wondering. Were you surprised that Skunk's friends were planning to surprise her? <laughs> A lot of yeses, Bear. Well, did Skunk surprise them too? <laughs> yeses. Now, Bear's asking, do you think it might be fun to surprise a friend with a talent show or a poem? Many yeses, Bear. Well, Bear hopes you come back soon for more adventures in surprises. Bye for now. Please subscribe.